guys, how is that? It's Maria. So you may be surprised by the name change, but it's still me, Ligaya. Just rebranding my channel because I finally found a name that I can be happy with, and that actually sounds like my name because my name I R L has Mary in it, and Mia is uh, just sort of a childhood nickname that I'm trying to shake off because you know I'm getting older and I'm gonna work in a professional environment soon, so I I don't really want to explain where the Mia came from, so. Anyways, hi, I'm Mary. Yeah, formerly Legaya Trade and Legaya Whims. So I love making Sims for Alpies. So if you're new to the channel, welcome, and I hope you enjoy the videos that I'm putting out. I also have a pretty bad track record. Just a dis uh, you know, like a warning disclaimer when it comes to like starting Alpies. So I have only completed about two Alpies in my time here, Black Widow and High School Years, but you know, like a cockroach. <laughs> You cannot kill me or my want to finish an LP. So my goal in life is not to graduate college or to have lots of money, but to complete a 10 gen legacy challenge. Like that's all I want to do. But maybe I was lying when it comes to the money part. <laughs> but it might take long because I'm only on my fourth year of college. Hopefully, I'm also going to graduate. And trust me when I say it's beating my butt. But onto the challenge, if you've been here before, you know I love occults, so we are going to be starting the Occult Legacy Challenge. This Occult Legacy Challenge is a 9 generation challenge by Asphodel Moon. I'm going to be linking it on the on the description below so that you guys can check it out also. But the graphics that I'm going to be using for this one are from Kimba, Kimba, Kimba Sprite. They're a fellow YouTuber, a SimTuber, and they make like the best algae out there, which is like the avatar challenge. So feel free to check it out. And also they tweak a few rules text to make it fit. So we have to check out the link for the full rules and also like the details. But I'm just going to get you guys first on this one. I actually love like love things like these like the graphics, it's because um, I think my brain focuses more when there's like pictures and I get more, much more interested but then like, I'm sorry, <laughs> but that's just how it is. Um, anyways, so this is it. And by the way, if you're wanting to start other challenges as well, they also have like other graphics, for example, like Solar System Legacy. Uh, I also believe like Sims in Bloom challenge and many, many more. So I'm going to be linking them also their tumblr also on the description but here for this challenge we are going to be starting as a human then eventually we're going to become an alien a plant sim paranormal or we're gonna dabble into the mermaid life being werewolves so it's like jumping to alien to ghost to fish to wolf and then what's next a spellcaster a blood-sucking vampire and eventually as a ghost and not gonna lie, I'm so excited to start this. You guys already saw the sim that we're going to be using for this one, right? So I'll introduce that sim later. First, I just have to read this one. So the generation one is we're going to be living in Strangerville. And after leaving home for the first time, you find yourself living in a small home in Strangerville. You're not there very long before you start to notice things that are particular. I hate the English language, forgive me, I'm Filipina. Notice things that are particularly strange and the locals are even stranger. At your job at the local lab, you overhear colleagues talking about the town's mystery and the other lab that stands across town. You get sucked into that conspiracy and there you are determined to figure it all out. On top of that, you're pretty sure you've made contact with aliens. What could possibly go wrong? So the aspiration is going to be the Strangerville mystery. Traits are paranoid, genius, and socially awkward. I don't know if we can accept like any new traits that may come out of this. Maybe if it makes sense, then I'm going to allow it. But if it doesn't, then no. So for the career, it's going to be scientist. And the theme for this one is orange. Of course, we have to live in Strangerville. We should not have any spouse at all whatsoever. The only children that we should have is through abduction only. 
As for the limit on children, there are no limits to it, but the heir must be an alien baby. So we have to also max skills when it comes to logic and programming. And we need to live in a trailer or a cabin home, which is perfect because I'm going to show you later what we are living in. Also, we need to grow a bizarre fruit. So here we have is Clem Strange. Clem just did her interview and she was hired as a scientist in a lab located in Strangerville, but it's a new lab. The other lab is kind of closed off because there was something that happened to it, but it's confidential. So she thinks that she doesn't really have to do to worry about it. Also, we named her Clem because, you know, Clementine, orange theme, and also strange because there's definitely strange things with occults, right? I actually wanted to name her Clem Curious, but it's... Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, and I think I would want to show you guys her outfits. Of course, I didn't really just want to give her like orange from top to bottom. I think if I were in 2020 and playing Not So Berry, I would probably do that. But I've got different tastes now. So those were her everyday outfits. Formal girlies got nothing. Because actually she's not really one. Or like the type to go to formal events and whatnot. This is her athletic though. Her first sleepwear. Then this is her second one. Then this is her party outfit. She didn't quite know how to dress herself for it because she's socially awkward. So she does not really go to much parties anyways. She is gonna be just like a homebody. Now this one. Her first swimwear, then this is the second one. Here is her first hot weather, which is what we're going to be using a lot because, you know, it's very hot in Strangerville, I assume. Then lastly is the cold weather outfit. I don't know, I just fell in love with this combo. This is not going to be like witchy brews where and I'm going to be so focused when it comes to the story. I really just want to have fun because I'm trying to uh, figure out my sim style also. And I kind of just want to have like both a story based and gameplay based types of LPs. So here I'm going to show you her little, it's an abandoned bus that she had, uh, that someone had converted, let's say, into this thing. And uh, yeah, she was able to rent it also for herself. It was affordable because it was trashy. Trashy and small. So here's the kitchen. It's okay, yeah. And here is the dining room. Not much of a room is there, but it gets the job done. It's just that this is dirty. I don't I don't know if she has the money to fix it though or anything like that. So it's just gonna stay the way it is right now. But here, I, as you can see, she's having lots of fun when it comes to just playing right over here. But she's also brought a lot of her books, a lot of her mangas because she does love those. And then we need a laptop because hers broke and we need that for our job and also this is just her little space yeah she can sleep here it's fine i mean it's a couch yes but it's better than nothing right as i said she had already undergone the process of the interviews and whatnot that's why she moved in here and she had even also signed the contract which was kind of suspicious by the way but as someone who is just wanting to work in this field she just wanted it so badly that she ignored the red flags. In there, there were some clauses that disallowed her to, you know, talk about the experiments that they're doing in the science lab that she's going to be going to. Plus, a science lab that they could be sending her to. So that's the first red flag that she ignored with many, among many. Right now, she's just calling in, like saying, hey, I'm already here. I can start tomorrow. So there we go. We're going to be starting Monday at 10 a.m. What we need to do is that we need to, what? Have the two breakthroughs. Scientific breakthroughs can happen at almost any time that the scientist is in a contemplative state. For example, while gardening, reading, or performing experiments. Well, that's perfect because maybe we can read something right over here. How about Lord of the Swings? And also gardening. And speaking of gardening, we need to garden because we need to have like money. So here I found this. Oh my gosh. She's probably gonna wonder like, what are these when she finds them? Bizarre plants. Okay. But let's go look for other stuff to dig. And where else? Where else? Where else can we find them? Uh, hmm. I'm sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy and all that. Wait. 
Oh my gosh, there's like a light on them already. It's been a while since I've uh, I've used the scientist career, so I don't even know. Like that's a new like when yeah when was the update that that thing was added? But yeah, I'm trying to garden. Oh my gosh, if you got if you miss this, I'm gonna be so mad at you. <laughs> Which well, she's probably gonna miss it because she has her nose in her book the whole time and also she's kind of busy looking for rocks. Oh, what is that? What the fuck is that? Hello? <laughs> what? What? It disappeared. Bye? Yeah, she's got her back turned at him. There's no way she saw this. And Eureka! Clementine Strange had her first breakthrough, wrote down an idea from a momentum conserver. Click on the notebook button at the top of the phone menu to learn more about it. Okay, but also, I kind of want to have some friends first. Go here. We did not have any welcome wagons, but there's someone here that we can have maybe like a friendly conversation with. Enough with the book. Just go here and read. Oh my god, you know what she's doing? She passed by Erwin Price just to put this back on the dang... Oh my god, on the sink. What the f- I think first we just want to ask him how was his day and introduce herself like, Hey, we're Clem and we're- We just transferred here in Strangerville. And by the way, what are you selling? She's like, oh, they look like souvenirs to me. I mean, this is a town with, you know, practically NASA or any other, what's a famous government? I mean, <laughs> famous research facility in the America. But yeah, it's close to that. So maybe there's a lot of tourists that would go around here trying to buy um, smoke mask, this, whatever this thing is, crystals and gnomes. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, but we are gonna leave now. Uh, it was nice meeting you though. Then we'll just get her to sell this, which is like 144, 42 simoleons. So we've got like 152 now. But also I'm thinking that we should probably make... Oh no. Yeah, I forgot. She is socially awkward. So she should not even be making friends with strangers in many places. Yeah, that's gonna be our one rule. Maybe we can have friends in the in our workplace. But we should not go to bars or anything like that. At least for now. She is just content, I think, with her little video game and being alone. Oh my god, I just noticed she doesn't have a shower. Or does she? No, she doesn't. Okay, we gotta buy or like get money for a shower. This is the only thing that she could find. And also she noticed this. It's like a crash site of a plane. Of course, she had searched this place way before she even went here. So she knows that there's something like this. So she knows that there's something like this just in her neighborhood. And it's not like it bothers her. I mean, it must be safe now, right? But also, what did you find? What did you find? Uh, another one. 70. We need a few more. But I don't know if we can get like a few more because this was the only one that I found. Um, if I find collectibles, uh, there's no more. Okay, you know what? Maybe let's not go home. Uh, let's stop here and then let's check out the place. So she's just checking out also the place and just seeing that there's actually like military people in here. Oh, saluting the scientist. Wow. That's gonna be her treatment soon. Hmm, also she's just taking in the view. It looks like a quiet place. It looks normal. Yeah, it does. So perhaps she can have lots of fun in here, make new friends, because Clem always struggled with making friends. That's why she even has social awkwardness in the first place. She always was overthinking it making friends you know she was always overthinking and she was definitely really really shy well also maybe because there was also a point in her life where she thought that she was kind of like better than everyone but yeah there was a time wherein she was definitely she definitely thought that she was better than everybody else so it got kind of hard to make some friends. Anyways, what should we eat? Some bibimbap, some rice jajang, some yakisoba pan. Wait, it's too early though. Dinner is too early. She can still manage. 
Maybe we can look for some things in here to sell. But first use this. And can I sell this? View. Also view this one. View, view, view. Because you can definitely put it on your inventory. I don't know if they're just worth anything. Hmm. Let's see. What else can we view and sell over here? How about this paint? Oh no, definitely not. There's a truck in here though that I don't think we can even touch. Back here, nothing else. The chemical waste, I think. Maybe it's just a drum, she's saying. <laughs> and there you go, Clementine also had her second breakthrough and wrote down an idea for a synthetic food serum. Click on the notebook button at the top of the phone menu to learn more about it. She realized this she could not sell, but these are definitely worth a something, she thinks. I'm just gonna sell them through here, so that gives us a 408, which allows me, I think, to buy just a little outdoor shower. I really felt like using this one, it's from the Horse Ranch pack. Over here though, let's get something to eat. And as I was saying before, it's gonna be instant foods. It's going to probably be... Or should we just order something? Zoomers delivery. I mean, it's gonna be a celebration that we are in a new house. And I know she is just craving some Korean fried chicken. Oh my god, let's get the soy garlic. <laughs> That's so yummy. The Zoomers delivery girl <laughs> is also wearing orange too, and it just throws me off every time that they just walk into your house. They could just hand it to me. Like Sims, you gotta make that as an animation. Because now that she's gonna start using my, I don't know, my TV, it's usually what they do. Oh my god, a miracle? She actually left? Oh wait, she's gonna talk to us. Like, maybe asking for some tip? Girl, I don't have. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're in The Sims. You live. Oh my gosh, the audacity. You know what? Since you have the audacity, Aya, Shafik, give tip. And like, I think we have to be... I think I want to get to know you. Also, a delivery person. So they might know like the way around this town. So you are going to be our first friend. That is not weird. Oh no, Erwin was weird. And you're weird. Yeah. <laughs> I guess no one is in, in this town is not weird. But yay. Hi. Uh I see you got my book there. Why do you want to access my fridge? What the fudge? Excuse me? Anyways, I wanna eat now, so uh, it was nice to be your acquaintance, but we don't know each other well enough, and you may have other things that you need to deliver, so yeah, bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> and girl, if you're not gonna put that back, wait, are you gonna take it too? Oh my god. Oh my god. She took our book. Hello? What? Oh, she left it. She left it here. What was that? <laughs> What was that? Oh my god, I had Shafik. Uh, yeah, I am interested. <laughs> she is an interesting one. And obviously, I have not playtested this, so I have lots of issues when it comes to this bed. Oh, she can't reach it because of this thing. Okay. Anyways, you guys, I think I'm just gonna have to end off this episode right here. I am so excited to start this new LP, you have no idea. And I just hope that I can commit to it. Pray for me. But as I said, I'll just be ending it right here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.